Ladies and gentlemen, right now we are at the Olivet Boys and Girls Club on Walnut Street in Reading, and we're here for a very interesting program. And the first thing I would like to do is introduce you to Richard Bradbury, who's the director of the Olivet Boys and Girls Club. And he'll explain a little bit about this program, and then we're going to go inside and see what it's all about. Sure, Richard. Thank you, Ellen. Uh, this program is one of three levels of guitar that we offer here at the Olivet Boys and Girls Club Center for the Arts. Uh, the group that you'll be seeing is actually our performer's level of guitar. It's uh, between 10 and a dozen students that have been with the program for quite some time. Uh, they've developed a certain amount of proficiency. They've also developed a certain re uh, amount of repertoire, uh, songs that either they've written or songs that are, are published, and they're rehearsing them right now to be ready for performance. Their instruments, do they all bring their own instruments? Um, some of them bring their own instruments that they've actually been rewarded as part of an incentive program with this particular program through Ready Musical Foundation. If they have perfect attendance or near perfect attendance at the end of the school year, or in our case in May, uh, they'll be awarded an acoustic guitar, a new acoustic guitar. If they already have an acoustic guitar, they'll get an electric guitar. If they already have one of those, then they get an electric bass. So each year, it's, it's a great incentive. We're very impressed with what's going on here tonight. And this goes on on a regular basis. Every Wednesday night throughout the school year, yes. Okay. So we have three groups here. We have a beginner, intermediate, and advanced groups. So these guys are getting ready for performances uh, throughout the city and county. Okay. February is a big month. February, uh, we do... Um, we do a Goggle Works thing in March for Jazz Fest, and then we're also going to do um, Reading Phillies, like one of the first open days we do at the Reading Phillies pre -game. And what do they do at the Reading Phillies? Uh, they play before the game, and then they get to go eat and watch the game. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been involved in the Long time. Long time. Okay. Yeah, I've been with the Phillies often since I was about six. Wow, that is a long time. Okay. I'm 15 now. And what steps did you go through to get to this point? Um, well, at first I was doing like songs like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Yeah, we all have to start with those. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, but it's more of just like focus and me wanting to do this and sticking with it. Okay. And do you spend a lot of time practicing? Yes, a lot of time. That's great to hear. And how much time do you spend here at the center? Every Wednesday. Um, I, at the center, like in general, I'm here most of the week besides Friday um, and Tuesday. So I'm here a lot of the time. Um, second home. Yeah. <laughs> this place is my second home. And all the people are like my family. And members are like my family too. So like, Wonderful. I love this thing. This is the Olivet Boys and Girls Club of Reading and Berks County, and they provide some very important music programs and other non-traditional school-type programs for children so that they have exposure to the arts. We want to thank Richard Bradbury, who's the director here, and Josh Taylor, who is the music teacher of guitars and percussion. He kind of oversees the music part of it. They were very kind to have us come in as their guests, and I think you've all enjoyed the children and appreciate their talents and their uh, enthusiasm for music.